and welcome back everybody. My name is Altamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Pillars of Eternity. Where we left off last time, we were on the Endless Pass of Ad Noir level 5, and we are fighting for our lives apparently against some Zarps. Not particularly difficult opponents, but just kind of annoying. Annoying enough to warrant a little bit of attention, I guess. Also, there are a lot of them. Thanks for an interesting fight. And we'll just let this fight it out. Um, I don't really want the High Priest doing things though. Let's see if we can get through this uh, champion. Oh, there's the High Priest right there. There we go, perfect. Let's just shoot him. Once he dies, we'll move on to the next one, and the next one, and so on and so forth. Until they're all dead. Skip that guy, kill the stranger. Get away from there. Oh, I see. You're under attack. You have a sword, don't you? Yeah, you, you have justice, I remember now. Back to your gun. You're not very good at... Um, not very good at melee. He's definitely a much more of a ranged person. And that's it. The end of the fight is nigh. We're gonna go back up to level 2 really quickly. Um, and do level 4 and 3 on the way. I was uh, told by one of my friends that I missed something on level 2 actually. Well, he didn't tell me directly that I missed something I on level 2, but I realized I, I missed something on level 2 when he explained something to me. So, gonna go do that. There's the way up right there. High Priest times two, and some other dudes. Champion, and stuff. Why is Palgin just stuck? Go fight something. Um, there's another High Priest, so you can fire at him. Skirmishers are really no concern of ours right now. Our armor is so far beyond what the, the Zoroks can do to us that uh, you can basically just walk through them. Yes. Which is going to make the first couple of levels of this dungeon pretty easy. Admittedly. So Alright. Nice. Hmm. What's down here? I wonder. Another stairs up. Oh god, which way do I go? Where'd they come from? Wow, that guy just evaporated the moment my guy stepped into melee with him. Keeping an eye out. It's actually just a path in. It is. We just, I guess, didn't see them before. Alright, we're going up to level 4. Master staircase and the normal staircase. And what's a master staircase? Oh, this probably just lets me go straight up to the top, which is fine. We're gonna do that if we can. Excellent. Oh god, how do I get to level, level 5? God, Nua. Level 1. Two hours to get up there. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna go down level by level, I think. It's just gonna be better to do it that way rather than jumping down four levels right away. Or three levels, I guess. Oh, I see. Okay, that's where we. Oh, well, that's fancy. I like that. That's cool. I'm guessing it's every few levels there's a master staircase. That will allow us to get to the next level easier. I'm hoping that's the case anyways. So I did miss one item on level 2. I think. Well, he said probably. Because I mentioned I did not get a specific thing on level 2. And he said you should probably go back and check. And so I will. Ooh, 
we are looking for keeping an eye out. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Don't do that. We missed something pretty important, actually. We missed the whole part of this dungeon, for starters. They won't see me coming. But more importantly, we missed an item here that we kinda want. Margrin's fire cast light in dark. You know they don't wander out of their own traps. It's just kinda annoying. In fact, let's back up a bit. I think a bit of damage for doing this, but. Gotta move. Are you stuck, really? There we go. That way they'll all come out here. Kana's fine, he's got lots of life. He'll live. Now, Kieran, can you do the box picking? Try to be careful now. We don't want them to run over the trap. Alright, now we're good. Let's go ahead and fight. Kill everything. Kill all the things. This is what we were missing. Thomas oh, a little hurt, but he's okay. He'll be fine. I cannot keep up this pace. Oops. Should not have done that, but Broken Blade, that is a piece of the Blade of the Endless Pass, which we were trying to build. Did not get it the first time through, my bad. But now you guys know exactly where it is. And now we're on our way down to the next level again. But this is going to be level you 3 as opposed to level 5. We're actually done level 5, so we can skip over that one. We know where the stairs are. We know where the master stairs are, which are equally as important. Let's see what lies this way. There's an epitaph here for backers of the game. Not going to read those. And the fire shows me anymore. something new. Just cuz they're lengthy and really don't add a huge amount to the game. What the hell is that thing? An ogre. It's an onion. Because ogres are like onions. They smell bad. Actually, they smell delicious, to be fair. Onions are awesome. I cannot say anything bad about onions. Ooh, let's get the tanks in front. Oh, crap, and ogres really. Don't do it. You cast your alien, they'll be mighty mad at you. That's your tangled thing, I don't care about that. That's not very helpful. Just kill him. Drop him to the ground. There's a corpse here. Some dude did not make it. These ogres seem to be a unique breed. If only we could speak with them. Why? What a reason could you possibly have? want to speak with an ogre. I shall be discreet. I'm gonna get in there. It's definitely blocked off. Isn't it? Oh no, it's a door. Let's see what lies this way. I am shocked that that ogre didn't see me. Tell me. Then you go kill the ogre. Nope, stop. No. For the Go the For the You'll be fine. It's only no good. She has the best interruptibility, so she is worth sending into combat early. That's not very helpful. Let's keep combat going so no Connie can get another chance. And then he can get his own ogres. Oh yeah, it's ogre time. No prisoners. That's it. 
Oh, Gina's is a little bit hurt, so that's okay. She'll be fine. These things are apparently not hostile to us immediately. Find that odd, but I guess we'll see. Maybe they are friendly. Let's find out. How bad is your exhaustion, Kana? Major. You have major fatigue. We've been down here for like ten minutes. What? So what is your constitution? Pretty decent. Resilience is fine. Your survival sucks, but that really doesn't have anything to do with it. Maybe it's because he has athletic skill of zero. How much athletics do you have? Tons. You? Oh, lots. You. Quite a lot. He at least has one. He at least has two, so... Well. Yes, I think we're going to give people athletics next level. Our final level. Oh. Apparently they didn't want to talk at all. Oh, that's a lot of ogres. That's like a lot. I'm going to heal. And probably get a spell going. What spell do I want, though? That one, right there. Hi. It's a big dude. They do it really. Once that ogre dies, we'll set uh, Pelagina on this one. We'll use the other two to kill that guy. Pelagina can interrupt. This thing is somewhat doing the job. And Sir Fluffykins is surveying the battlefield again. Possibly eating the bodies of the dead. Alright, so what on the guy? We could summon some ogres to help kill him, but really, the fight's already over, so it doesn't really matter anymore. Topaz, some Valoons, and Zola's Torque, which is a belt. Which does something, I'm sure. As you wish. Let's see what lies this way. I figured there'd be something hidden. Minor gauntlets of accuracy. Yeah, okay, I guess. What's this? A rusted shield decorated with a many leaf tree adorns the wall. A small engraving at the base reads The Earl of Yenwood. Alright then. Lay in low. See now what the flame that Oh my god, that's a lot of oozes. Oozes. So many oozes. At least they're down already. We haven't finished the quest, but yet not even close. We will be resting eventually here, so that Kana can get his uh, fatigue back up to normal, because he's low on life now. He's just too tired to endure, apparently. So that is a way down. We're not going to do it quite yet. That's so some bloodstone. And another ogre. Another two ogres. Strap. Another many, many ogres. Holy shit. Okay, we're gonna cast some spells. We're gonna be resting anyway, so we might as well use some of our cooldowns. Can I actually hit our own people? I don't think so. I think it's just enemies. So let's do that. And yeah. And then ever present, ever valuable fireballs. All the fireballs. And maybe a missile storm on that dude. So much. And then go shoot him. Fully stunned. That's it. 
That spell's actually awesome. Very beast for a long time. Yes. Let's see what lies this way. I figured there'd be a trap. There usually are the traps on everything up. in these games. But we've actually been pretty lucky not to encounter many devastating traps. I know we've died from a couple, but not a lot. There are definitely games that have had more traps. Should be okay, I would imagine. I just got smoke. This thing is doing its job. Following your lead. Everybody, once you're all up, come yeah. gather up. We're gonna do a big heal. We'll gather up for it, guys. Yeah. Don't have a huge amount of them. Oh, oh. Hey. Eek, eek. There we go. Problem solved. Anything Be else constant. in this room? Doesn't look like it. I guess this is another way we could have came, which is why there are so many ogres guarding another ogre. How did you possibly notice me stealing your things? Uh. There we go. What are you doing? Get into combat. Quit. <laughs> At least stand in the path so I can get past you. Although she is low on life now. Well, all right, excellent. Let's gather up some stuff. Go take a look in this room. That's a master staircase. Is there a master staircase on every level except for level two? Maybe it's every two levels. I don't know. Eight, flame and sound. There's a magical bow. And some sort of statue. Housed within a quiet alcove, the stone figure strides boldly forward, one arm held high. I'll inspect it. Judging by the style of clothing and the cracked remnants of a beard upon the statue, a lot suspects that this is the Earl of Yenwood, a lauded warrior. He was known to lead his men into battle, wielding a gleaming saber. Alright. You won't see me coming. Let's go check out the last room in this uh, level, and then we will head down to the next one, which I think is there. Because I think we came in right there. So, let's go take a look. We'll also rest, probably. Who's Thulgar? Alright, Thulgar. Cast in orange hues by the guttering torches, a massive creature sits in the rear of this wide chamber. There is an acrid stench of blood and offal around the room, and a hot malodorous gust wafts towards you as the ogre rises, stirring up the dust beneath his feet. If they had only known how many unwitting fools would wander into my camp, I would not have been exiled. Despite his words, the ogre studies you dispassionately. His pale, grim features are streaked with dried blood. But then, I think they have lost the taste for godlike now that they have feasted on one another for so long. The ogre turns away. I will not be fattened for the eating. You were exiled? Go but a little way south and you'll find what's become of us, once a dozen strong. And now we are nothing, our great chief enraged by voices, and our people driven to devouring one another. And I, the coward, wait here to die alone, easier said than done, he gestures to a heap of bones and cloth. Hunger has a will of its own, Matron Zola knows that well. I'm going to give him Zola's torque. Zola is dead, I slew her and her warriors before I came here. Thulgar takes a deep breath. He is silent for several moments. Then I should thank you, God, like you have done more than I could. It is not gratitude, I feel, but take this all the same. I will not need it. Where I go. Take care in this place, God, like it has unmade many more than my people. I will remember Zola as she was before. Perhaps I will see her again in another life. Goodbye, ogre druid. What did he give us? I'm curious. Rondel's Finery, plus two intellect, plus two lore, minus two recovery speed. It's actually kind of nice. Let's 
give it to him. Oh, you look all fancy now. Not that you really need lore, but... Plus two intellect can't hurt. What does it, it intellect do again? Oh, area of effect, right, and willpower. Yeah, that sounds good. Hmm, what else do we have? Exceptional... Why are we carrying these things around? Oh wait, does anyone need exceptional plate armor? Yes, you do. You only use fine plate armor. Which is fine. But it's not exceptional. You have exceptional plate armor, right? Yes, good. Excellent. Everything else is good, it looks like. We have Unforgiven, which is a flail we looked at before. Raven Ring, which used to be my mace. This can go away. That can definitely go away. That can go away. Flint and... I'll just put all of this stuff in my storage space for now. Including all of these traps, of which I have lots and lots. I'll save them for a big fight where I don't know if I can win it. I'll put all these traps down and we'll call it a day. Someone will blow themselves up on it. Alright. Well, be cautious. Any traps. Be Nothing. Alright. Uh, we're going to rest here, actually. There's a camping supply right here. We might as well. Yes. Ah, perfect. Another I'll epitaph on the I wall. And we go down to the next level. Quick save. What's this? Dunrid Sion has arrived seeking employment. Good for him. Can I hire him? Oh, nope. He's not even that great. He's actually one worse than my Avenger of Skane. No one really likes the Dunrind, apparently. Which I don't understand. They seem like perfectly acceptable people to me. Yeah, they're Scions, which makes them a little... People are a little uncertain around them. They're like, oh crap, is he reading my mind? Is he gonna control my mind with his mind bullets? But ultimately, I mean... They're probably just normal people. Somewhat, anyways. Yeah, they have powers. I'll give them that. And I'll give that that's a legitimate fear that they can just read your mind and um, manipulate you that way. But I mean, even if I was a scion, I don't think I'd be that manipulative with my powers. See me I say that because I don't have them, but just from my personality, I don't think I would do anything hugely bad with them. I wouldn't control people. That's small signs all the way. Following your leader. We'll let the melee take down the stone beetle and we'll uh, just shoot the black slime to death. And then we'll kill the beetle. What is it? A blade. Each level in the dark. is a little bit different, but these ones all look sort of the same. Why did my screen shake? Oh, that's an Atribeetle. Atribeetles are a little more annoying than their stone brethren. This is the lightning attack they do. So irritating. What is it? That's it. But it's almost dead. Sort of. Tell me. Come on, die. Just die. There we go. What is it? Stone beetle or Atribeetle dead. Everything else will die in short order. The reason is, they're just stone beetles. How hard could they possibly be? I mean, at the beginning of the game, when we were level 5, they were a bit of a pain in the ass, but... We're now level 11. I probably should have done some of this place before getting such a high level. That's a lot of dudes. Alright. Well. I still think it's going to be just fine. How about the other beetle? We'll just slowly cut our way through like normal. How close are we to leveling, actually? Uh, about half. A little less than half. So much for you. For the Boom. Right to the face. That Arbicus does like 40 damage a shot. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it takes a while to reload, arguably. But his DR penetration is amazingly great. I love it. Of course. And the blunderbuss is pretty decent too. What was that? I got something blue, but I missed it. Was it anything in here? Was it resolution? Which is a saber? 
A reliable, fine annihilator saber. Not very great, but kind of neat. Is that what we picked up? No. Just a uh, ooze plasma, beetle shell, beetle shell, garnet, ooze plasma. Interesting. Well, I thought I saw a sword or something. And we do have a new sword in our inventory, so I'm not really. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Maybe we picked it up a while back and I'm just losing my mind slowly. That could be the case. I did only get a few hours of sleep. I might be out of my mind entirely right now. It does tend to happen with lack of sleep. I need something stronger! Just kill the you don't need anything stronger. You're using some of the best weapons in the game currently. That I know of anyways. And we are gonna go kill a dragon after we do the endless tunnels too, before we go into the next area. What is this? This massive face appears to have somehow been shaped at a living Adra. Each ridge is smooth and no, straight. That's just tacky. I like this tacky, it looks awesome. I shall be quiet as a calm sea. Which is not very quiet. I guess we know. Every time he goes to stealth, the other goes, Hello? Hello? Because apparently he doesn't know anything about stealth at all. Or he goes, I'll be as quiet as a calm sea, which is not very quiet. Which is completely different. Anyone that lives near the coast can tell or knows that the sea can be calming but loud. I don't live by the sea, although I wish I did. I find the sound of the ocean very smooth or soothing. I would love that. It would help me sleep so much. But unfortunately, the nearest ocean to me is a 13 hour, 12 to 13 hour drive due west to the county of Vancouver. A little bit too far away for just a day trip. I mean, you go there for a couple of days, but yeah, but not for a single day. You would spend 11 hours driving that. Spend like an hour in the city. And then 11 hours driving back. Yes. And that would be an entire day? Just about? I guess you could spend two hours in the city. Yes. And 22 hours driving. But then you might be tired and you probably shouldn't drive. Traps, right. Seals of the endless paths. Investigate the mysterious seal. What does it do? This seal appears to be Anguithin in origin, formed of a circular piece of white adra shaped around a bloodstone gem. On the back is an engraving of a sword. Slowly now. Anything else in this room that's hidden? Negative? Oh, there's lots of people. Sorry. I think someone's trapped. Halagina's trapped. Okay. Let's let her out. And then we should be good. Let's Actually, she's about to use. Alright, problem solved. This fight is over pretty much. This place is neat. I'll give it that. The endless paths are pretty cool so far. We're only on level 4. We've already done level 5, so we're gonna go down to level 6 after this. Although we are almost at half an hour, so it's almost time to end this video. We will be continuing the journey down today, of course. Although, I might not release really these on the same day because. Like I mentioned in previous videos, I tend to record ahead of time and then just release them over a couple days. That way I always have to release and when I have weird work schedule things that prevent me from doing that. I think that'll give me a hit by a trap. What is it? It's a little bit hurt. Oh, maybe not. Maybe she'll be dead. Let's kill the ooze so it's not shooting with Elegina. Pelagina? I don't know what it is. I think it's Pelagina. Although it could be Pelagina. Equally easily. Oh, we don't need to rest yet. Yes. No point in wasting good food yet. Unless we find another campsite. Or a camping supply thing. I'm hoping to finish this level before the end of the video, but I don't think that's going to be the case. We are at half an hour or so. Like always, if you guys have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. I will be continuing immediately, so like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, that'd be awesome. I hope to see you guys in the next video.
I'll see you later.